time that you're sitting there going, mm-hmm. Well, don't be ashamed. Most dogs do pull on the leash. It's a natural instinct that they have when they feel pressure to lean into it and pull harder. So you're not a bad dog owner. You don't have a bad dog. You just have a dog that needs some training. So I'm going to show you how to get a dog to walk nicely at your side. Now, please know a couple minute long video is not going to completely fix your dog. You're going to have to work on this over time. But all you're going to need to start is a dog, some super yummy treats, and an obstacle. I'm using a bed as an obstacle. You can use a chair, a table, whatever you want, whatever is handy. And what you're going to do to start is you're going to take some super yummy treats. You're going to get your dog off the obstacle to start. And the important thing here, guys, is to have your dog in between you and the obstacle. Now, you're probably thinking, hang on, I thought this was about leash walking. Well, guess what? I want you to work on this without the leash because we as humans, we tend to take the pulling very seriously. And what we do is we yank back on that leash and we go, no, don't you pull me. Well, I want your dog to learn to walk nicely at your side without any of that equipment. So please practice this indoors so your dog doesn't take off on you. And when you are ready to take this out, put that leash on. But for tonight, no leash, okay? Here we go. All you're gonna do to start is you're gonna take a walk around that obstacle, keeping your dog at your side. Now, if you have to pay very frequently to keep that next to you, that's okay. Because guess what? All we want them to learn right now is that the best place in the universe is right next to mom or dad. It's not out ahead, it's not falling behind, it's right next to where we're, where we're walking. Now, the obstacle is there because I don't want my dog to take off. And I also don't want him to be too far out from me. I want him to know Staying right close to me is the best thing that ever happened. That's where all the treats rain down. So that obstacle is there for a few reasons. It's there to keep your dog snug up against you, but it's also there that the more you practice this, I want you to see how far around you can go without paying. So yes, in the beginning, you're gonna pay, every single step you take to keep them right here. But then, as they get better, I want to see if maybe you can do a whole loop around, then pay them. And then the next time, see if maybe you can do two loops around without having to pay them. We want our dogs to know that the greatest place in the universe is next to mom or dad. So guys, go have fun in your living room, in your dining room, wherever. You don't need a leash to teach loose leash walking. I hope this helps. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.